So we're going to focus on, like I said, career, money, and work. So with the second house, the second house always talks about like material things, uh, material gains, um, you know, your money, where the 10th house focuses on um, career, life purpose, those sort of things. So they kind of go hand in hand. Um, so just try to hang in there and, and see what the messages have for you, okay? Because I do feel like um, for some of you already, just looking at the um, overall energy that I've pulled so far, uh, some of you have already gotten to a place where you feel like there's been some sort of accomplishment made, all right? So we're looking at the King of Cups energy. The King of Cups is someone that has done a lot of work, um, put a lot into whatever it is that he or she um, will say that, because although it is a masculine card, this could be speaking to any of you out there, no matter what the gender is. Um, but I get the sense that for some of you, it's like, you know what, I've put a lot of work in, I put a lot of time in, and these are the rewards or benefits that I can now enjoy. This could be for some of you fi finally retiring from a uh, career or a job that you've put a lot of time and work in over the years. And so now it is time for you to sit back and relax and enjoy some of the you know, return from everything that you've put in in seasons past. Some of you are waiting for um, this new opportunity. Now, again, this could be uh, a, a career change. This could be something in, in your work. This could be something like a promotion or being paid more money, finally saving from what your career or your job has allowed you to save because it, you know, over the years, over the few months, you're starting to see some type of return. But I do see here that there has been something here that has made a difference and has now allowed you to be able to give back. Maybe you're giving back financially. Maybe you are teaching people how to manifest what you have already done, teaching people how to do business. Maybe you're a consultant in some type of way. But I do see that whatever gains that you have accomplished or will accomplish will be something that you can most definitely give back to others, maybe friends, families, um, other charities, those sort of things. So I do see that this is coming for some of you and is already here for others. Now, we do see the strength card here. So I'm happy to see um, that for some of you, um, although this has been a challenge to kind of get to where you want to be. You guys have really, really shown great strength. And that has what's been allowing you to be able to save or to invest properly. Uh, and, and now this is what's helped you sit on the throne, so to speak, in a very comfortable way. For others of you that may have not experienced this, you know, newfound um, wealth, okay, or comfortability or luxury. Maybe you're still waiting on um, getting promoted. Maybe you put in for a promotion. Maybe you're asking for more money. Um, maybe you started a project or have a business and haven't seen much return yet. Maybe you're just looking for something that's supposed to be coming in in terms of, you know, cold, hard cash. And it's like, you needing to be strong in this moment, or for some of you, I'm hearing stay consistent. So if you've been working on something or asking for something or man trying to manifest something, the key to it all is to have real strength in order to get to this point. So however that resonates for you, that is your overall energy. But we're going to go ahead and look at... Um, we're going to look at work first. This is what this is what I'm feeling we need to do is go into work for Virgo. So for those of you um, that are wanting to see what it's what the details are when it comes to work, work for Virgo, please. All right, out they come. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. So I feel like with the Knight of Cups, all right. Again, there is an offer being made, 
All right, so if you are at work and you've been waiting for this promotion, like I just said, there could be the um, moment where you get offered that position. Maybe there will be a position that is created directly and specifically for you and to you, but there is an offer of some form coming to you. This could also be, um, you know, just getting a raise or a bonus of some sort, but I do see an offer coming in. And for some of you, I feel like this is either something that you already know about and are wishing for. And some of you, this is something that you've been waiting for a very long time. The reason why I say this is the energy here with the strength. It's like you had to be strong. You had to hang in there um, in, in order to um, wait for this to manifest. Now, the hair font shows up, all right? This is commitment. Um, this is growth. So I feel like for some of you, you had to grow within yourself, within your skills, within the company for a period of time. And this is divine timing now, all right? Maybe you applied for a position before and did not get it. Or maybe you asked for a raise before and did not get it. But it's like there was a lot of growth that took place, all right? And it happened within yourself first. And that is what has opened up this new opportunity. I also feel like if this is a promotion, it's like there's a lot more commitment now, a lot more responsibility that you will have because you are now going to be looked at in a higher status. So if this is a promotion and you're looking for um, a, leader, a leadership position, it's like, okay, you really have to be committed to what it is that this role entails. For some of you, I feel like this is talking about, you know, um, you really being able to commit to this now. Some of you, you might not have been able to because there were some type of distractions, but now it's like you're really focused, you're really ready. And so I think, again, divine timing is in play here. So if this hasn't happened as of yet, um, this could be spirit asking you to be strong and to really focus on your personal growth, your commitment. Okay. Are you fully committed to the job that you're in now? But I feel like for a lot of you, um, you want this. This is something that you really, really want. And there could be more responsibilities. There could be more commitments, but I feel like you're going to have enough strength to go ahead and put this time in. All right. So this is really, really good energy that I'm seeing so far when it comes to work. Um, now, also with this Hierophant, I feel like with this new position coming in, that some of you might have a mentor, all right? Someone that's taking you under their wing to help you to succeed, all right? So I do see that. I'm also seeing here... I'm also seeing here that um, this company could be something um, that is most importantly going to help you grow spiritually. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you are in within a company that is spiritual. So it doesn't have to be anything necessarily tied to working for a church or working for a spiritual organization. But for some of you, that could be the case. But I feel like you've grown a lot within yourself, within this company. Some of you may have even decided to put your commitment from working a regular nine to five job and investing in yourself and having the strength and the courage to go it alone and to start your own business. Okay. All right, that is what I am seeing. So it's, you know, when you're hearing all these things um, coming in, it's just like you have to try to get out as many messages as you can. All right. So let's move forward here, Virgo. Is there any challenges or anything that we need to acknowledge 
during this time for Virgo. Yeah, and Spirit's also saying too, you know, with this leadership position or if it's more money, it's like really, really be strong enough to fully commit because now that this position is coming around to you um, or more money is coming into you, it's like your expectations or what's being ex expected of you, I should say, is going to be a lot higher than it was um, beforehand. I feel like this card wanted to come out. Yeah, so you're being asked to embrace oneness with the universe, okay? Like I said, for some of you, I feel like this was, this was a lot of waiting and contemplation. Um, and it was like you really, really, like I said, with um, the spirit card here, I call it the spirit card, the hair font, um, because it, it is a very spiritual um, existence to be within yourself. And I feel like for a lot of you, you really had to embrace what you were bringing to the table. It's like you wanted this so badly or you wanted these things so badly um, or the race so badly. And it was like, okay what is it that I need to invest? And I think that you had to take a, a very hard look at yourself and you needed some assistance with the universe. And that's why I said, I feel like there was divine time that was involved in this um, newfound offer that's coming through. So it's like, you know what? Now is the time. So if you're still hanging in there, just know once you... Um, get to that level and the universe feels like you're very committed um, and you're ready for this responsibility, uh, you know, the, the opportunity will come in and that particular door will open. All right, so moving forward, let's take a look at career. So for those of you um, that are looking to see what this career is looking like like some of you are like okay what is what is my purpose like what is it that i need to be doing and i always say i feel like anytime you are choosing a career um you're talking about your life purpose because this is something that you're going to do for a very long time or forever for a lot of us some people do career hop but ultimately um, you want to make sure that the time and money um that you're investing into a career regardless if this is you know your own business or another company that you're um going into but it's considered a career um you're you're going to want to make sure that you um, are aligning to what your true life purpose is and some of you want to know what what does that mean for me so let's use some of this as guidance in that um, and then there might be some cards that come out that give you a couple of um, confirmations here. For those of you that are wondering, something could come out to let you know, yeah, okay, that reading's for me. So this portion will not resonate with everyone, as we said with the whole reading, but these tend to get a little bit more specific. Now, we do see a career change for some of you. It says you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you de desire and deserve. So absolutely, like I said, some of you put in a lot of hard work, have been waiting for a long time. This is what you desire. For others of you, I think that you are reconsidering or maybe you've been offered a different position and you're like, you know what? I like the company. I wasn't planning on transitioning. That's a whole another career in itself so if you were in sales but now you're like you know an accounting positions come up it's like wow that's a whole nother you know career move for me um the career change might be something really good for some of you that are not happy where you are when it comes to career or you're still trying to figure out what career is to you maybe you just have a job that's not really something that you want to do for the rest of your life there's a career change that is definitely coming. And maybe this is why the strength card is coming in because there is going to be a new offer for you to be able to do that or a new opportunity for you to consider that, okay? Something that is going to make you feel comfortable and bring in um, the lifestyle that you're wanting to live, more money, more things, 
um, or flexibility, whatever that means to you. Okay. So let's get some more messages here. Okay. So we have the school card here. All right. So maybe some of you um, have been considering going back to school, especially when we're talking about going into a career. Maybe the career that you're going into requires that you go back to school. So this is an indication if you've been wondering or if you've been thinking like, oh my God, I really want to go back to school. I never considered that. Maybe now is the time to go ahead and do that, especially if you are going to make a career change or a big career move, you might need to go ahead and, um, you know, have some studies behind you so that you can have um, some qualifications in order to make that change or to go into that position. For some of you, I feel like with this new position, um, going back to work, you might have to take some classes of some sort in order to complete what it is that you need to complete to be in that position. But as far as career goes, I feel like a lot of you are going to need to go back to school, especially if you're making a change from one career. Some of you might just be going to school and just have a job for now. And you're now realizing that the the studies that you are taking are not going to be the studies that you necessarily are going to want to stay in because you are now thinking for the long term and you're trying to change your career. So some of you will be changing your studies as well. Some of you might be educators or professionals um, that have to do with some type of school. Maybe you're an instructor um, maybe you're a teacher of some sort, but I do see that school is in the horizon for some of you. The other thing I'm seeing is creative expression. It says your soul longs to express itself creatively. So you might be someone that is um, in the creative arts field. This could literally be any type of expression that's creative. All right. Some of you might be looking to become a teacher or a professor or an instructor when it comes to um, creative expression, you know, painting, music, um, anything in the art field. I'm hearing culinary art for someone out there. Um, but again, this could be some type of creative expression that you're trying to go into career-wise or maybe your career is attached to something that has to do with um, creative expression. Maybe you're not the particular one that is creating the art or the creative expression, but um, the career that you're going down does involve highlighting this type of stuff, okay? So again, this portion, um, you know, this is a direct message for someone doesn't necessarily mean um, that that is for everyone. So let's just go ahead and get one more card here. Spirit says there's one more card. Use this for confirmation for some of you out there that have been wondering, is this the path 